What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Movie Endings Explained. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Before we jump into today's video, I'd like to remind you all that at 5,000 subscribers, we're doing a huge Xbox One and PlayStation 4 giveaway. So definitely smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. And let's jump right into today's video. So folks, in today's video, we are discussing Jaws. The Revenge, also known as John Four, Jaws 4, not John, but John would be a cool name. So on Amity Island, Chief of Police Martin Brody, Roy Scheider, the hero of two previous shark attacks, has died from a heart attack. His wife, Ellen, uh, played by L Lorraine Gary, uh, attributes it to the fear of sharks. She now lives with Brody's younger son, Sean Mitchell Anderson, and his fiance Tiffany Mary Smith. Uh, Sean works as a police deputy and is dispatched to clear a log from a buoy a few days before Christmas. A massive 28-foot great white shark attacks and kills him, sinking his boat in the process. Ellen believes the shark intentionally targeted Sean with a vengeance because of the deaths, the deaths of the first two sharks. Brody's older son, Mike, Lance Guest, his wife, Carla, Karen Young, and their five-year-old daughter, Thea, Judith Barcy, come to Amity for the funeral and encourage her to come from Massachusetts to the Bahamas with them. At the islands, Ellen meets carefree airplane pilot Hoagie, uh, Michael Kane, Mike along with uh, Mike, along with partners Jake, Mario, Van Peebles, William, and Clarence, works as a marine biologist studying conch. A few days later, they encounter the same shark that attacks Sean. Jake is eager to do research on the shark because great white sharks hardly come to the Bahamas as the water there is too warm and sharks are misunderstood creatures, but Michael asks him not to mention the shark due to Ellen's attempts to convince him to find a job on land. Ellen becomes so obsessive that she starts having nightmares of being attacked by a shark. Then she starts getting psychic feelings when the shark is near or attacks. She and the sharks have a strange connection that is unexplained. Jake decides to attach a device to the shark that can track it through its heartbeat. Using Chum to attract it, Jake stabs the device's tracking pole into the shark's side. The next day, the shark chases Mike through a sunken ship, and he narrowly escapes in one piece. Thea goes, or Tia goes on an inflatable banana boat with her friend Margaret and her mother while Carla presents her new art sculpture. The shark goes for Tia but attacks and kills Margaret's mother instead. Tia and Carla are traumatized following the attack. Ellen boards Jake's boat to track down the shark, intending to kill it to save the rest of her family. After hearing about what happened, Mike confesses about the shark, infuriating Carla. Mike and Jake are flown by Hoagie to search for Ellen and find the shark in pursuit of their boat. During the search, Hoagie explains to, the, to Mike about Ellen's belief that the shark has, that killed Sean is after her family. When they finally find her, Hoagie lands the plane on the water, ordering Mike and Jake to swim to the boat as the shark drags the plane and Hoagie underwater. Fortunately, Hoagie escapes from the shark. Jake and Mike hastily put together an explosive powered by electrical impulses. They begin blasting the shark with the impulses, which begin to drive it mad. It repeatedly jumps out of the water, roaring in pain. As Jake moves to the front of the boat, the shark lunges, giving it the chance to pull Jake under and maul him. He manages to get the explosive into the shark's mouth before he's taken underwater. Mike continues to blast the shark with impulses, causing it to leap out of the water again, igniting the bomb as Ellen steers the sailboat towards the shark while thinking back to Sean's demise. The shark... The shark's attack on Tia and when her husband killed the first shark. The broken bowsprit impales the shark, causing it to explode. The shark's corpse then sinks to the bottom of the sea. Mike then hears Jake calling for help, seriously injured but alive and conscious, floating in the water. The four survive the harsh encounter and make it back to land. Hoagie then flies Ellen back to Amity Island. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Please subscribe because at 5,000 subscribers, we're doing an Xbox One PlayStation 4 giveaway. If you made it to the end of this video, comment the secret comment code, which is going to be Blue Dragon. Movie Endings Explained. We'll see you next time.